Welcome back YouTube Pipe Smokers, Mutton Chop Piper here. Well today's video is a review video of the lighter that I use. It's called the Karibi Kabuto um, Short Black Matte Lighter. Um, a lot of you have asked me what type of lighter I use and I just figured it was time for me to go ahead and do a review on this lighter so I can let you know uh, how I like it and if you should purchase one. Um, I'm going to read a little bit of information. Some of these words are a little bit, they're Japanese and I'm not quite sure if I'm going to pronounce them right so please forgive me. Um, but uh, on the smokingpipes.com website they have a little blurb about this pipe or about this uh, lighter uh, that I want to pass on to you. Along with the katana, the kabuto, the winged battle helm of a samurai. I don't know if you've seen those, but they're, they're the helmet that a samurai wears and there's wings on each side. Boast an integral association with the pre-Meiji restoration samurai class. While the inspiration for the Karibi shapes all hail directly from the zenith of Art Deco, the Kabuto also incorporates an homage to this tradition within the gesture of the wing-like cap toggle. A direct reference to the Fukugeshi crescent-like wings on the side of the Kabuto. Though distinctly retro chic on the outside, your new Kabuto short sports a state-of-the-art uh, modernist design, technology, and cutting-edge innovative Innovations within. The features are compact, convenient size for easy transport, new dual flame design that offers a wider and more gentle light for your pipe, hinge spring made of a special polymer that is far more resilient to fatigue than steel, single tank construction of amazing fuel capacity, 100% hand assembled in Japan and sturdy brass steel and nickel construction. All right, so I've had this lighter for about a year. And uh, first, let me show you let me show you the lighter real quick before we get too much into it. Uh, here is here is the wing that they're talking about right here on the side. OK, and it's it, it is a small lighter, as you can see, it's it's really small, but I like it. I, I like the, 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 the way it's so small because it fits in your pocket. Uh, it can fit in your front shirt pocket. It can fit um, in your pants pocket. Um, so it's easy to fit. Uh, if you've got a carrying case, it's easy to fit in a carrying case. So it's really, really uh, nice and compact. And then the fuel tank, you know, I thought, well, heck, it's, it's so small, it, it'll be out in a day or two. Nope. This tank will go, at least for me, and I, I smoke a pipe probably three times a day at the, at the least. This tank will last um, almost a week before I have to refill it. Uh, and it refills with just regular butane. Uh, and it's, uh, it really is a fantastic uh, uh, lighter. Now, what I do here is what this wing is for is so that you can take your thumb and flip the cap. See how that works? Okay, so, and then you flip the cap and hold on to it, oops, to light it. Hold on to it, light it. Hold on to it, light it. And as you can see, it's still lighting really, really well. Um, now, I have to admit something to you because I want to be honest with all of you guys out there. Um, I received this pipe. I went down and did a tour, took a tour of smokingpipes.com. And, and when I bought this pipe, uh, it was a hundred bucks and that's what I bought it for. They now have this, this, I'm sorry, did I say pipe? Lighter. Bought this lighter for a hundred bucks. They knew, they now have this lighter on their website for 68 bucks. That's a pretty good price. Um, okay, so uh, 
something I need to uh, to pass on to you. When I bought the when I bought the lighter, uh, I was going to buy the, the the taller, but I was it was suggested to me that I swap buy the smaller, so I did. And I just one thing I told him said I just don't want this lighter to break down on me because I've had lighters in the past that you know they'll last for a couple of weeks and then poof they're gone. They, can't get it to light. I can't get it to stay lit. I light it. I light the or I uh, I light the lighter and and a flame shoots out that long. Um, and he said, "No, don't worry, man. This this thing will last you forever. It's a it's very well built." I bought it in December, and I think in February I was I flipped the cap. And I didn't, I mean, I wasn't doing it very hard. I flipped the cap and it just kept going. Flip, spring went flying. This lid went flying on the, on, on the floor and I was looking for parts. And, oh my God, what happened? So I contacted the guy at, uh, my friend at uh, Smoking Pipes. He said, man, don't worry about it. Send it back and we'll fix it. And we'll send it right back to you. And that's one thing about Smoking Pipes that I really like. Uh, I haven't really been involved with any other online store, but they stand by their product. If they sell you a lighter and it breaks, send it back to them. They'll look at it. Uh, if it's something that is because of um, a malfunction, either with the lighter or uh, if it uh, is due to quality, something, you know, spring broke or or something broke with it, uh, something other than abuse. I mean, they're not going to replace and give you a brand new lighter if you abuse it or if you abuse anything that, that you buy from them. But that's typical with any other company. Uh, if, but if it breaks because of a manufacturing flaw or because of um, some kind of um, problem that was not foreseen or that is not self-induced. You know, you, you didn't hit it with a hammer and say, oh, well, it's broke now. i got to send it back and get a new one. No, they're not going to replace it for that. But if, it, if it's a manufacturer, something wrong with the manufacturing of it or, or an internal piece broke, send it back to them. They'll take care of you. They'll fix it and they'll, they'll send it back uh, as good as new. So after that was done, after that, I sent it to him. I, I think I got it back in a week. I have never, ever had a problem since. And I've been in, okay, it's February now. So I've been using this lighter a year after it was repaired. And you see me when I'm, when I'm on other videos, I, this is the lighter I use. And it is absolutely uh, a workhorse. Uh, it does not fail me at any time. It's a great lighter. So, you know, if you, if you want, looking for a good lighter, a lighter that you, uh, you know, you're wondering what, is there a lighter out there that I can purchase that's going to last and it's going to be tough and it's going to be compact. Uh, I think this is a lighter that you're looking for. All right. Well, uh, that's it for the lighter. Now, something else I wanted to share with you. Uh, I wanted to show you, this is my Dunhill early morning pipe. See how much is in there? Maybe a pipe load left full. But I'm out. So what does that mean? It means I get to pop another tin. Sorry, I get excited sometimes when I get to pop a new tin of Dunhill early morning pipe because it's one of my favorites especially since uh, I said this in another video this is this was uh, produced in 2012 so it's got almost five years of age on it and man it smokes it smokes so good I run through that stuff like it's candy it really is a great a great blend so I wanted you guys to be a part of it be a part of me popping this tin okay so is everybody ready all right, here we go. I take, I take my check tool, put it into a little indentation, get it close. 
Ooh. That, that's just the best sound, that, that vacuum seal being broken. Then what I do is I take it off, take off the lid, and then I take a whiff. Oh, yeah. Man, that's some nice tobacco. Smells beautiful. I open it up. I can tell that it's got almost five years of age on it because it's stuck to the tobacco. This little cardboard lid is stuck to the tobacco. And if it had, if, if this is not, what will tell you that it's got that age on it is that should be white. Let me show you here. I don't know if you can tell in the video, but that side is white and that side is yellow. That's from being against the tobacco and some of the tobacco uh, rubbing off or the, the juices of the tobacco seeping into that white cardboard. Oh, it's just amazing. And then again, the bottom is this, uh, this little satchel part here is uh, made out of uh, Oh, it's paper of some kind, but it's also, uh, it is also uh, discolored on the bottom. And that tells you that this tobacco has really great age. And tobacco is a lot like wine. The longer it ages, the better it gets. I usually don't let mine age more than 10 years, but anywhere starting from five years on, I start opening my 10s. And especially if it's got Virginia in it, it is just going to be fantastic. All right, well, that's it for this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you found out some information you didn't know. Until my next video, I want to wish you and your family happy piping.